morning. Good morning. Good. 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 When you were at Arden, did you ever have pink on your uniforms? Did we have pink? I think we did, maybe. We had a lot of colors, so. <laughs> I think at one point in time, there may have been. I'm not sure. Uh, the it's reason like, I ask is because they're, they're, I think it's like a breast cancer awareness. Yeah, thing. they've done that before in the past, so. But it's a great cause. And, uh, the, I think the NFL does the same thing at some point in time, whether it's October or November, so. Good cause, good idea. Did you ever have any input on what those helmets or uniforms look like while you were there? No. And nor should I. I mean, they've got a, Nike's got an unbelievable design team. So my background's not in design of uniforms. So uh, Tinker Hatfield did a great job with that. And then the rest of the guys up there. So, you know, that's what they're known for. And they do an unbelievable job. Uh, game day is going to be there. Um, as the visiting team, does it really matter at all? Or is it, but is the extra exposure nationally good as a result of that? Yeah. Depends on the outcome of the game. <laughs> So it's, it's about the game. I think game day is great for college football. Um, they do such a great job. It's good to see Coach Corso back on uh, this past week. But um, they're you know, synonymous kind of with college football. But the reality is for the two teams involved, it's, it's about the game. What have you seen out of their offensive scheme? Is it similar to anything you guys have seen the last couple of years? I mean, yeah, there's a lot of a lot of similarities to a lot of teams that play. I think everybody kind of copycats each other and throughout college football, but they're they're sound. They run the ball really well. Their quarterback is is a true threat in the running game. Um, they try to get him. He's a big physical kid that can get the ball in the perimeter, um, but they also distribute the ball in the passing game really well. So um, I think it's a balanced attack, and, and you got to make sure you got to account for all eleven. You know, sometimes when you have a quarterback that's not a runner, you don't have to account for him in the in the run in the run game. But you know, with with uh, with this quarterback you do so does it help you guys having just gone against cam rising and his running ability yeah the, the, yeah i mean anytime you go against a quarterback that has the ability to run the south alabama quarterback had the ability to run um Pinnix has a little bit of ability to run you know i think they're not as probably as fast as bow is um but you know I, 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 we're not watching utah take preparing for oregon though so are you doing any uh, wet ball drills uh, yeah for rain okay. yeah we've always done those when we we look at the extended weather forecast, so we'll, we'll, we'll work with ball drills. Um, we have in the past, and we've had this week so far, so we'll continue to do that. How does Shea Pitt's um, academic ability complement his athletic ability? I, uh, that's a great question. You know, I think one thing about Shea is he's just the ul ultimate competitor, whether it's in the classroom, <clears throat> in the weight room, um, on the practice field. You know, he, he wants to be great at everything he does. So I think really it's his mindset more important than his academic ability or his athletic ability that I think what sets Shea apart from other people is that he's just such a driven individual. Um, you know, it's really kind of special to see how he approaches everything. Um, we always talk about it's how you do the small things, it's how you do all things, and I think Shea epitomizes that. I think they've done something crazy, like allowed one sack so far this <clears throat> year. Um, what do you see that as a product of? Um, I mean, the quarterback does a good job getting the ball out on times. So the quarterback's athletic and moves around a lot. Um, you know, I, I think the offensive line's obviously very solid in their protection scheme. So, you know, it's always a, there's not a stat that's attributed just to one player. It's a team game, so it's attributed to everybody on the offensive side. You said in the past that, you know, you win a game, the next game gets even bigger. You win that game, the next game gets even bigger. Something to that effect. How much fun is this, the fact that you guys keep stacking these big games and winning and getting to another one? Yeah, I mean, that's in the long term when we look back at it, but the reality is, is each week is its own season, you know. So you got to kind of approach it that way. So what we've done in the past six weeks really doesn't have an effect on what goes on this week. What has an effect on this week is our preparation for this week, and, that, and I think this group, more than any since we've been here, has really truly understood that that it's um, you know what you've done in the past really is irrelevant. Um, you, know, you just can't sit on your laurels and say, hey, we were average on Tuesday, average on Wednesday, average on Thursday. They can't figure out why we didn't play well on Saturday. And for us to play well on Saturday, um, it's more important than stacking up wins. It's more important than stacking up really good days just this week to affect the ultimate game on Saturday. How would you assess Monday and Tuesday's practice? They were good. Defensively, you guys have been really good at limiting explosive plays. Um, red zone have been a little bit of a different story. Is there a way to hone in on that specifically? Yeah, I mean, I think you always drill red zone. Today's a big red zone day for us. We drill one-on-one -on -one red zone. Um, we do one versus ones in the red zone on, on Wednesdays. So um, it really just depends on the attack you're facing and what, what you're getting there. You know, sometimes it's a byproduct of did the, did the offense turn the ball over in the red zone and you gave them a short field to work with, or did your return unit allow a, <clears throat> allow a return that got the ball into the red zone so it was a short field for the offense. So there's a lot of combinations that get involved in that one. 
Uh, Dorian told us that he's still thinking about his interception from like two weeks ago. Is it good to kind of hang on to a memory like that, especially when you kind of preach going week to week? Yeah, yeah. I, you all, we're all a byproduct of our experiences. So it's, it, I, we, we go week to week in terms of what we have to do from preparation. But I think hanging on to something where he understands that um, what the mistake was, I think that's what enables him to not make that mistake again. So if he gets put in that same situation, that will spark you to do the same thing. It's no different than a little kid if he touches the stove. Well, they don't think about that a year later. Maybe I shouldn't touch the stove because the last time I did that, something bad happened to me. So that's just part of growth and part of learning. You learn from your mistakes and um, the fact that he is learning from his mistakes. I, I would be more afraid of if he said, I don't even remember it. I don't know what I did on it. You know, then, 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 you're, then you're probably liable to to maybe make that same mistake again, but that's the type of kid that Dorian is, is he understands um, that mistakes are, are can be turned into positives if you use them to be a positive. I know uh, last when you got up there, you visited with Nick Aliotti just because he's been on like uh, the broadcast teams, but uh, is there anybody you enjoy going to see? I know you don't have time to do much socially, but pre-game from your time in Oregon, pre or post-game from your time no, I in don't, Oregon? I don't really know who's going to the game, so okay. I just... If there are friends and people there, then I see them, and I'll obviously interact with them, but I don't, I don't really talk to anybody about who's going to the game, who's not going to the game. Thank you. All right, thank Appreciate you. <laughs> Sorry, you got, you got.